welcome to a new episode of Amiga Retro. And as you saw from the beginning, we're going to be covering the classic Bullfrog Productions game known as Syndicate. Absolute phenomenal game for its time. Uh, basically, the whole idea of Syndicus is set in is a series of isometric science fiction style computer games because they did um, a series of them, including Syndicate Wars and an expansion pack for the original Syndicate game. But we're mainly going to focus on the actual original for, for this particular episode. Uh, like I say, there were two three, there were two main titles. There was Syndicate, which was done in 1993-94 for both the PC and the Amiga, and then in 1996 they did Syndicate Wars. Syndicate American Revolt, which, by the way, was freaking impossible to play. Anybody who's played it will tell you that. Uh, was an expansion pack for Syndicate. Anyway, overview of the entire game is the series was critically acclaimed and ahead of its time. Uh, but it reached its peak of its popularity before the mass um, uh, the masses of adoption of the internet and hence has relatively small online community compared to the latter uh, less influ uh, less influ compared to latter less influential games um, both games put you in charge of a player named corporation this is a corporation that you can create within the game choose your logos uh, simplistic logos etc what your company's about um, you know, things like the Church of New Epoch and stuff like that, you know, they were just some of the silly names that you could actually come up with, or come up with your own as well. The gameplay itself, though, it, um, once you've created your company, involves ordering a team of four cyborg agents uh, around gritty, cyberpunk-themed cities in pursuit of mission goals such as assassinating executives, or of rival companies, for example, or rival syndicates, uh, rescuing and capturing, a rescuing captured allies, persuading uh, civilians and scientists to join your company. Uh, when you must say persuading, what you have to do with that is basically you go around with this thing called Persuadatron and you basically hypnotize them. Then you bring them back to your um, little, uh, air, you know, your corporation and they get turned into more cyborgs for you. So you have to like, you grow your own army. Uh, amongst other things you can do is demolish buildings uh, or simply killing it or any, any enemy agents on the map. Very diverse little game and certainly ahead of its time. You're also required within the game to keep your funding up, so you're required to collect funds for the research and uh, the R&D department to research your new weaponry, uh, new body parts for your eight cyborg agents by means of um, <coughs> taxing conquered, conquered territories from the main map. Overall, damn little damn good game. Um, the Syndicate series popularity, um, it's particularly the Syndicate Wars one, which is a follow-on from the footage you're seeing here, is noted for its attention to detail uh, and its the intricacy of its narrative. Syndicate Wars standard manual addresses the player as a newly hired executive. The entire manual um, was designed to uh, to pull the player into the story and atmosphere as much as possible. Notably, uh, features of both games are used. Uh, Sorry, but let's start that again. Features of both games are used uh, use of context-sensitive background music, which changes the suit of the mood of the on-screen action and the high degree of interactivity. Many, many of the objects in the first game, and nearly every object in the second game, can be destroyed. The visual aesthetics of both games uh, borrowed borrows heavily from such films, um, like Blade Runner, for example, which is big inspiration for what Syndicate was based on. Um, the, the expansion pack, uh, Syndicate War, Syndicate American Revolt, was incredibly hard. I mean, absolutely hard to play. I mean, in fact, you could, most people could never even get past the first level. It was that hard. But it was only available on the PC and the Amiga, while the sequel, Syndicate Wars, was exclusively for PC and PlayStation, uh, simply for the significantly more demanding graphics engine it had. A heavily modified version of the same graphics engine was used to make the other game Dungeon Keeper, if any of you have played that. In 2006, an uh, interview at Leipzig Games Convention for GameSpot, Peter Mol uh, Molyneux said uh, that he would like to revisit some of his old efforts, but he adds that it is very unlikely that it will happen. So you could see, aside from licensing complications, he says, uh, some sort of next-gen online version of Syndicate would certainly be a popular item with gamers, so you never know. We may see Syndicate online as an MMO or some online Battlefest game. That would be certainly worthwhile. 
Anyway, I hope that gives you a bit of insight into the old Amiga and PC game called Syndicate. Uh, very worth very worth downloading. You can find it from a Google search for emulators and for the PC DOS version. Until then, me, me, mind wipe. Take it easy till next episode of Amiga Retro. Bye for now.